Welcome back, Awesome Possums. Today we will work on Lesson 14, Session 1 of Grade 2 iReady Math, Explore Comparing Three-Digit Numbers. All right, let's look at what this page is saying. Page 343, Explore Comparing Three-Digit Numbers. You have learned how to compare two-digit numbers. Use what you know to try to solve the problem below. Kim and John toss bean bags at a target. Who can make the greater number using the digits their bean bags land on? Try it. What is this problem about? What are you trying to find out? And what information is important? Let's look at where the bean bags landed. Kim landed on three squares. She landed on the four, the one, and the two. So she can make a three digit number. John landed on the seven and nine. One bag did not make it to the target, so he can make a two digit number. So let's look at what we're trying to find out. Who can make a greater number using the digits they landed on? Kim could make a three digit number, so she can make a number with the hundreds, she could make a number with the 10, and she could make a number with the ones. John, on the other hand, can only make a two digit number. He can make a number with a 10 and a one. So boys and girls, let's answer the question. Who can make the greater number using the digits or bean bag land on? Kim or John? Kim can. You're absolutely right. And why is that? Because she can make a three digit number with a hundred, and John can only make a two digit number with a 10. Who can make the greater number? We said Kim can make the greater number. And why can Kim make the greater number? Because Kim landed on three digits and John only landed on two digits. Kim can make a number using the hundreds place, but John can only make a number in the tens place. It says, look ahead. Start with the greatest place value when you compare numbers. A place value chart can help you compare numbers hundreds, tens, ones. Let's look at this place value chart. The first number, zero hundreds, eight tens, and nine ones. What number is that, boys and girls? It is 89, all right? Let's look at the next one. 100, five tens, and two ones. What number can we make from those digits. We can make 152. Good job. Now it says compare the hundreds to complete the sentence. Blank hundred is greater than blank hundreds. So let's look at the hundreds of zero and one. Which number is greater? One hundred is greater than zero hundreds. It says we can use the symbol less than and greater than to compare numbers. I want you to look over here very carefully, boys and girls. We're going to use the alligator method to um, learn greater than, less than, and equal to. It says the alligator is hungry. He will always have his mouth open to the larger number. He wants to eat the larger number. If you keep that in your head and remember, the alligator wants to eat the bigger number. His mouth is open to the bigger number. You will always get greater than and less than correct. So it says, right, 152 and 89 and the correct spaces below. Now, look at the arrow here. It's open here. What number needs to go right here? 
the alligator's mouth is open. So what number needs to go there? The greater number, the bigger number. So I have to put 152 here because 152, let me get that in there, is greater than 89. So now I'm going to read this as 89 is less than 152. But now look at the sign here. Look at where the opening to the arrow is. It's open on this side. So again, I need to put the 152 here because the alligator wants that big number and 152 is greater than 89. So I put 152 there and I put 89 there and I read this as 152 is greater than 89. Do you see that boys and girls? You see why this is less than? Because the arrow, the opening to the arrow is open to the bigger number. And the alligator is going to eat that big number. Think of it with teeth on it, and he's going to munch that big number up. 89 is less than 152, but 152 is greater than 89. It says reflect. Is a three-digit number always greater than a two-digit number? Yes or no, boys and girls? Absolutely yes, because a three-digit number has a hundreds and a two-digit number only has 10. All right, let's go to the next page. Solve the problem, show your work. Victor rolls three number cubes. Sabra rolls two number cubes. Who can make the greater number using the digits that they roll? Well, let's look at this. Victor rolls a, f a three, a four, and a five. Well, let's make the greatest number that out of that. Five is the greatest number out of three, four, and five, then four, and then three. What number is that? 543. Look how I put the digits in order from greatest to least okay now let's look at the next number a two and a six what's greater a two or a six a six so i would put 62 all right who can make the greater number victor can make the greater number 543 because victor has a hundreds sabra doesn't sabra's number starts with tens it says check your answer and show your work well, we just checked our answer right here and we showed our work. That's the end of our lesson today, Awesome Possums. Make sure that you go back and review it if you have any type of confusion. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. New lessons are posted weekly. Work on your growth mindset. And remember, all things are difficult before they get easy. Have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.